first walked into the theatre for the production of Wicked, it took my breath away. The technical backdrop for what happens here on stage is cutting edge. A myriad of computers, laptops and automation create and design the wizardry of what makes this show so special. But it's not just about voices and music, more so an experience for the senses, and many of those will definitely surprise you. One of the things that uh, Eugene Lee and I, the production designer, uh, and I did when we started was when we thought about the Emerald City, you know, we were working with our environment, which was inherently very dark and, and kind of mean, and, and we wanted the Emerald City to be exactly the opposite. So really the only time that we use green is in the Emerald City. It's reserved exclusively for that. And the idea was to make it as absolutely green as possible and, and to do it with light. So actually there's not really any piece of scenery that's green at all. It's all green lighting from the cyclorama in the back to the hundreds and thousands of uh, points of light, green LEDs that are embedded within the scenery. And then all the splashy costumes, of course, are all different shades and textures and fabrics of green. Oh, it's, it's awe-inspiring. The, 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 the technical design of this show, for a start, you know, all those, all, all, all those external things that all come together to assist our performances that we all work together with is, is thrilling. I was bawling. <laughs> it was so, it was, I was pathetic, but it was so beautiful that I couldn't help it. I was just like, oh my, oh my gosh and it's just magical. Wicked has so much to offer, award-winning sets and costumes. It's going to be an absolutely amazing visual experience for the person who comes along to see Wicked. I hear she has an extra eye that always remains awake. I hear that she can shed her skin as easily as a snake. I hear some rebel animals are giving her food and shelter. The costume area backstage, as you can see, is a tapestry of different colours and textures. Take a look at this. And the quality of these costumes is first class, simply because many of these costumes have been designed and produced with materials from all over the world. And if you think this seems serene and surreal with all these lovely costumes, such as this, I can assure you that during any given performance time, this area is mayhem. Many of the cast members, including myself, assisted ably by over 16 dresses, have sometimes under 30 seconds to change completely from one costume, and I'm talking wigs, hats, costumes, shoes, stockings, completely to the next. Under 30 seconds. Pretty amazing. One of my favourite outfits uh, for the entire show is this beautiful dress. I wear it in Act 2. It's probably worth up over $20,000. It's got so much beautiful detail and it goes right down to the floor with this enormous skirt that flicks out. And this is my favourite dress. This dress is affectionately known as the bubble dress. You'll see it's, it's incredibly detailed. There's so many sequins and crystals and it's all hand beaded and there's dozens of layers, which means that it's also incredibly heavy and it really is every little girl's dream, as you can see. <laughs> This is the percussion room. Now this is something I hadn't seen before joining the cast of Wicked. Many of these instruments have been imported from overseas for their exotic and often unique sounds. It's because of this that the percussionist has his own special environment which is separate from the musical director Kelly Dickerson and the rest of the orchestra in the pit. Now that's tricky because the only communication he has with Kelly during the show is via the video monitors. I went to New York and I paid squillions of dollars to just to get in to see this show and I thought it was beautiful and then a couple of months ago I was sitting in the pit and thinking wow this extraordinary thing and, and I'm, I'm a part of it and I get to conduct that. Well the wonderful thing about having Kelly Dickinson our musical director is she was there from day one, flew to America and had to audition for the Americans to get this job and normally a musical director by now has moved on to another show but she continues to stay with us and she's sort of a, a, sta a very stabilising factor of the company. Yeah. 